we are still working on our personal narrative. Let's go ahead and review. What is a personal narrative? Brainstorming. Do you know what a personal narrative is? A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You can write about something that has happened to you. When we brainstorm, we think about all of the different things that we could write about. Brainstorming helps us find the best possible topic for our writing. When you brainstorm personal narrative topics, you can think about good memories you have about things that have happened to you, fun things that you've done with your family or friends, trips you have taken or special places you have visited, activities you have done at school, or anything else that has happened to you in your life. So a personal narrative is that real story about an experience you have had. Today, we get to go ahead and try and find the who, what, when, and where about our story in the beginning of the story. So our goal today is I can find the who, what, when, and where uh, in the beginning of the personal narrative. Should we do that again? Because that's just fun, right? I can find the who, what, when, and where. Go ahead, follow along with us now. Our goal today is together as a class, we will find when, who, what, where in the beginning of a personal narrative. So let's look at this writing chart. There's two stories here. I want you to listen to them and tell me which one you think is better. At, these are the beginnings of the story. So the first one says, I fed ducks. The same story is written again in the red and it says, yesterday I went to the park and fed two hungry ducks. Which one do you think's better, the blue one or the red one? I would agree. I think the red is better because I fed ducks is kind of just boring. So we like the red one because we were able to figure out when, where, what, and who was involved in that story. Yesterday was when they went. What they did was fed two hundred du two hungry ducks. Where they were at was the park, and who's involved was the I. So in personal narrative stories, you're going to be practicing trying to put in the beginning the who, what, when, and where, just like we had talked about. You'll get to do that here shortly with Mrs. Chapman as I go through and practice finding the who, what, when, and where in my story. All right, Ms. Chapman's going to be a detective and try and figure out what the who, what, when, and where is in this story. So this story is called Bubbles. One day at my grandma's house, I got a huge bottle of bubbles. I jumped, I cheered. So Miss Chapman's reading that right now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and look for the when. When did this story happen? What do you guys think? That's right, it happened a summer day is when that story happened. So then I'm gonna go ahead and write that down, summer day. Now the next one I'm gonna look for is I, or who, who is this story about? One summer day at my grandma's house, I got a huge bottle of bubbles, I jumped, I cheered. They say I every time. So it's most likely that boy that's blowing the bubbles in the story. So Ms. Chapman's gonna write down I, and then I'm gonna say the person telling the story because it's probably that boy in that picture right there telling the story. All right, once I finish that, I'm gonna think about what. What is this story about? What is it about? Oh, what did he get? So one summer day at grandma's house, I got a huge bottle of bubbles. I jumped, I cheered. What did he get? That's right, a huge bottle of bubbles. So we're gonna put down bubbles. I'd be so excited if I got those too. Now the last one is where are they? You should have probably figured this out by now. Where are they at? Do you know where they're at? That's right, grandma's house. So we're gonna go ahead and write grandma's. Now you get to do the same here in just a moment on a new sheet of paper, trying to be a detective for the story. All right, you know what time it is and it's your turn to get started. 
doing your activities. So your goal today is that I can find the who, what, where, when in the story. So get out your detective glasses and look for those on your activity. If you finish, flip a page over and start trying to write the beginning of the story, including the who, what, where, and when. Go ahead and get started. Thank you.